Hey dudes and dudettes, it's Simon Hurley and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are gonna look at Scrapco.com's new mint masking tape. So I wanted to test out what's the big deal about this tape. If this stuff is gonna mask off water, if it's gonna mask off ink blending, and what it can do for masking in your card making. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so mint tape is a little bit more of a paper masking tape. It almost feels a little bit like a post-it, but the cool part about this is I think there's like a little bit of a coating onto it, so I wanna see if it's gonna mask off watercolor as well. If so, that would be a big game changer for me. All right, so first I'm gonna mask off a little section because I want to do a strip of color for the ink blending and then leave the rest of my background white. So I'm just going to tape a piece of mint tape down on either side. I actually like the thickness of this too, so you won't have to, it's not too thin where you have to like avoid the edges, which I really like. We're getting into kind of the Halloween spirit around here, so I've picked out three different colors that I really like, guppy, prom queen, and crown me, and I'm just gonna go in and blend these on the edges. One thing I wanted to look for too, is to make sure it's going to stick down enough to hold it down for ink blending. And it's going to do that even though we're applying lots of force and we'll see how clean the lines are after we're done blending. Then I'll go in with a little bit of Prom Queen. Blend this together. So I like this because it's a nice transition shade in between that purple and orange to make sure that they'll blend together really nicely. And I love the vibrancy of this one too. Then we'll go in with a little bit of Crown Me on the edge here. And you know what, I think I wanna add a little bit of Midnight Snack too. These are some of my favorite colors because it almost looks like a sky, but it's got very Halloween vibes to these colors, which I love. So that's just gonna darken up the edge a little bit. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with the Ghosted Stencil. This is from my newest Simon Hurley Create release. I just love these little ghosts on here. So I'll go in, place that down exactly where I want it, and then I'll bring in my Distress Sprayer with just water. So this is gonna give me a lighter haze of water. I wanna see if it holds up to this, but later we'll do even more water coloring. So I'm just gonna go in, spray this down with some water. It's a pretty generous amount, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to lift off that stencil, and then if I want it to stop lifting and reacting and bleeding, I'll go in with my heat tool and heat set this. All right, now it's dry. This is the moment of truth when we lift off the tape to see our results. So I'm still gonna peel it pretty carefully. I do this with any tape because my cardstock does rip a little bit easier. So I want to just kind of peel it back onto itself. It ripped my cardstock just a tiny bit in that corner. So peeling back on itself is gonna be a really good tip because I pressed this stuff down pretty tight to make sure that it didn't bleed. But it got a really nice clean edge on either side, which I really appreciate. All right, to finish these cards off, I'm gonna go in with the new Trick or Treat stamp set and finish it off with some of these fun Halloween images. So I'm going to stamp down the images that I want using some Jack Black archival ink so it's not gonna bleed. I'll stamp down this adorable little bear dressed as a mummy. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Woof, which is my gray color and just kind of tap that in some of the different areas to get that color kind of blending and moving with some of that water. And then I'll also bring in a little bit of this minty fresh color. And this is just kind of a almost, yeah, minty green kind of color. It's a little bit more toned down. So I use it as a fun neutral. When you add lots of water to it, it just kind of blends in nicely with that gray. So I'm adding that for a little bit more color in his costume. Then to color in Artie, I'm going to just add down some brown onto his face. And then I'm going to dip back into Gur, which is my brown color with a little bit less water, just to do some shading around some of the edges because I want to give a shadow around where that toilet paper is kind of touching his face. And then here's a good tip. Anywhere you want a little bit more yellow in some of your colors, like let's say you want the color to be warmer, like on his snout or in his ears, I'll add a little bit of over the moon on top of that brown or any other color like that to make it a little bit warmer toned. I'm going in to cut him out with my Fiskars spring assist scissors. These are some of my favorites to get into all these little details and cut him out. 
but there are also digital files on Ranger's site that they sell. So if you guys do have a cutting machine, you can add those to your cart as well. Those are gonna be really helpful for anybody who has an electronic die cutting machine. All right, so I'm gonna use two sentiments, the one that says happy Halloween, and then hand over the candy and no one gets hurt. And I'm doing this in my Misty because I do not wanna mess this up at the last second. And then I'm gonna stamp it down with some jet black archival ink. I love how this card turned out. The sentiment is so cute and a little arty in the center, but I love how simple and easy it was to mask off that edge and how clean it is once you're all finished. Now for this next one, I want to really put the watercoloring to the test. So I'm going to lay down two stripes of the tape and still see if it masks it off if we use a lot more water. So I'm just adding my two pieces of tape down and then you wanna make sure the edges are extra sealed. So I'll give it a nice firm press on either side and let's go in and test this out. I'm gonna use the same colors, so I went in with Crown Me, Midnight Snack, Prom Queen, and Guppy, and we're gonna go in and watercolor these out. All right, so I'll start off with a little bit of Guppy. We'll go in here and add some water down with my color, and I'm going in with quite a bit of water this time to really test this out and see if it's going to hold up. So then I'll go in with a little bit of Prom Queen, and you know, not many tapes in the past have held up to lots of water when I added it down. In fact, most go in and bleed when you add lots of water. So we're gonna test this out. Then I'll go in with a little bit of Crown Me. And you can see these colors get pretty light when you add this much water. So you can kind of keep them a little bit less watered down to get a more solid color. And then finally we'll go in with Midnight Snack and finish this off. Okay, so there is my watercolor background. It looks like it did seep into that tape, so we'll see if it held up, because it doesn't like quite sit on the top of it, so we'll see. Moment of truth, right? I'm going to lift this off, and again, be careful peeling on itself. Wow. Okay. I'm actually really surprised. With the texture of the tape, it feels like it would just seep right through, since it's kind of like a paper tape, but it seems to have done a really, really good job at making sure that that is going to be masked off. Wow. Okay. That stuff is awesome. Look, you guys saw how much water I went in with this. Not many tapes hold up like that. Okay, so I put this tape back on because I want to do a little bit of stamping on top of it. So I'm using the Nature Hike background stamp from one of my newest releases. And I'm gonna go in and do like a stamping that kind of follows that um, color, hopefully. So make a little bit of tone on tone. So I'll go in with a little bit of Midnight Snack. I'll bring in Crown Me. And just kind of hopefully follow along with the lines of the colors. I'll go in with a little bit of Prom Queen. And I'm just doing this at kind of an angle like I watercolored it in. So I'm going to take this and flip it over and hopefully this stamps how I would like it to. Oh, I love how that looks. Once again, we can easily peel this tape off and this is my second time using it, so it's not as sticky. I don't have to be as careful with it. And I just love that tone on tone stamping that we created with the same colors stamping on top of the pattern that we watercolored. Now this one's more of a fall card to me, so I don't wanna do anything too Halloween. So I'm gonna grab out my Encouraging Word stamp set. I love this one, you can see how well loved it is. And this is just great for a big sentiment on your card. I'm gonna do You Are a Blessing, I love that one. And I'll place it at the, kind of the top center. And this is going to be a really easy focal point on the front of your card. So I'll go in with some Jet Black Archival and stamp that down. And I'm doing it in the Misty again to make sure that if I need to stamp it again, like I could stamp it one more time to make sure it's nice and crisp. All right, so I just finished this off with another cream colored card base. I love that nice sentiment focal point, but I was so surprised and impressed by how clean that line is even when we added a ton of water on top. And that stamping with the Nature Hike background stamp really pulled this whole thing together. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the two cards that we made in today's video using the mint tape and really testing it out to see if it's a good masking tape. For me, I think it gets two thumbs up. I love using it for these different techniques. And the fact that it can mask off watercolor too is amazing. Leave me your comments down below. Let's chat down there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to click that subscribe button to never miss another card making video like this one from me. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for another video. Have a wonderful day.
Bye.